Hey guys, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles, and welcome to my channel. I'm here today to do a Goodwill mystery box unboxing, and this is a mystery box that's offered on shopgoodwill.com, and it comes from a Goodwill location out of Southern Piedmont, which is North Carolina, I believe. And so they charge $49.99 for this plus shipping. And so I have to tell you about this story. I had previously purchased this mystery box from Shop Goodwill from this exact location. And uh, I kind of had like a disappointing experience. Uh, I was expecting, I guess, like higher quality given the price point, kind of like the curated blue boxes that they used to do. And it really kind of contained a lot of like direct from China and Frankly, I don't know. I was just kind of just disappointed in the contents. And so Goodwill actually reached out to me as a follow-up and they were they were like, we saw your video, we're very sorry, you were disappointed and we would like to send you a replacement box. So I was like, okay, I'm, that's wonderful. So wonderful customer service, I thought, from Goodwill. It shows really that they're looking and they're listening to people and they're paying attention. So yeah, kind of a long intro. So I'm not going to give you all the rest of the stuff. You know what to do. Give me a like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's go, let's do this. Um, so it's a big box and in there, I'm just gonna go straight here because this is just sitting on top and this is looking like something from Nine West. Okay, and this is a Nine West watch. This is beautiful. Let's see, this looks brand new. Really pretty watch, okay. And just like they do with Goodwill, it's got a, looks like it has a fresh battery and it is in working order. And so this is really pretty. It is in ro rose gold and it just has this really pretty oversized, you know, face. The crystal's really pretty nice bezel crystal and gold, ro like I said, rose gold colored and um, a really pretty kind of like beautiful floral design on the face. And so this is gorgeous, you guys, really pretty. I like the thin kind of band on this. And this, like I said, is looking brand new. So what do we have in here? Just Nine West, nine west Care and Repairs, that's cool. Um, okay, so that's gorgeous. That's really, really nice. I love it, very nice. That's a great little first piece of jewelry. Um, and so then we have here, ooh, this is heavy. This is what the rest of it's looking like. It's a big old bag of jewelry. So I'm gonna keep this right next to me, I think, and I'm just gonna pull items from it. I'm so excited, you guys. What a great weekend. Always fun to look through jewelry, I say. Uh, so I'm taking this out and this is just a really big kind of like heavy cuff bracelet and it's got some maybe pony there and it's looking like this is J Crew, And so just a really pretty faux kind of faux leopard design, gold tone, very, very heavy clamper from J Crew, And so this is very nice as well and it's in pretty good condition. So it's really heavy. It's really nicely made. Let's see. Let's put it on. Yeah. I like it. Very nice. Just realized I had a bracelet on and I don't know what I did with it. Uh, but anyway, I'm sure I'll find it somewhere. You know, you guys like eat <laughs> all over the house. I'm like eternally taking my jewelry off and like putting it back on. I'm sure you guys are the same way. Uh, right here, this is looking like a little kind of like sterling silver bracelet right here. Just a standard little beaded guy. Yep. This looks like sterling silver to me. You can see it's got a nice little lobster claw clasp on it. And that guy is looking like that. And that's nice also. I have definitely have bought and sold and gotten these in bags and stuff like that. Just, it's a very nice little basic. It always goes with everything. And so that's good too. That's really nice. Little sterling silver bracelet. Okay. Looks like there's like a lot of stuff in here. I have this is looking like a natural stone agate kind of beaded necklace it looks like it's got different kinds of agates here you can see there they're all nice different colors all kinds of pretty striations in there very nice and then it's got this little sliced agate centerpiece right there and this looks like maybe like kind of like a little druzy gold tone and this says um bpd bpd is oh i know this i was just looking through um files recently but I think this I think this is Betsy Pittard Betsy Pittard designs I'm not yes I think that's who that is I'm not 100% sure where this is sold uh, but it seems like a very nice quality nicely made type of design 
I like that it's really long so you can double it up. And so this is like, I think that's a really great looking piece of jewelry too. Really nice fall colors. I love just the variation um, in the stones. We've got these browns and beiges and creams. Really, really pretty. That's a nice looking necklace. I like it. Ooh, I like it. This is fabulous. I'm, I'm, I'm sensing redemption. I'm sensing it. It's feeling like a really exciting box. <laughs> um, you guys, so I just had my birthday actually on the 25th. I am a Pisces. And so this is like a little belated. I think for me, this is like a little belated birthday gift. I always love me some jewelry. Um, this is looking like a Brighton piece. Yes. Yes, there's a little bee right there. This is really pretty too. So this is like a really heavy, nice um, Brighton piece in excellent condition. It's got fancy scroll work on the sides. And you can see here, it's got a really nice long extension chain. Pretty little dangle right there. There's the Brighton B at the end and then the signature kind of like heart clasp that Brighton is known for. And this is really nice too. And this is in excellent condition. So a great, nice looking piece of Brighton. That's fabulous and very sellable, resellable. I know we talk about Brighton sometimes and I know some folks are like, you know, it doesn't sell for me very quickly. It sits for a long time. Some of it is long tail. I'll definitely admit that, but I think, and some of it sells, but I, I can't tell you which, what kind sell, what are the fast movers versus what are the ones that sell. I don't, I know a lot of, you know, Brighton, obviously there's like a lot of retired pieces and people collect it. So I just put it all up. I just put it all up. It's a great brand name. People are actively searching it, always searching for Brighton jewelry. So, you know, it ranks high in search. And so I'm just going to continue to list it and the pieces, whether they take five minutes to sell or, <laughs> you know, six months or a year, that's okay. And I'm always just happy to, you know, to see it move. So no rhyme or reason in the market demand, but I roll with it. This just looks like um kind of like a inlaid bone and brass bangle. This looks like something like uh, the styles you would typically see coming out of like India, but this is very nice. It's actually, it's very elaborate. I like the additional brass inlay that's right there in the middle. That's like a really pretty design. And so it's very heavy and that guy is looking like that. So that's nice little like Indian and bone and brass inlay bracelet right there. I have a cuff bracelet here. This is interesting. And it's got a really pretty horse design on it. This is really pretty. I don't I don't think this is sterling. It's not magnetic. It looks like stainless steel or like aluminum to me. I mean, it you can kind of hear it sort of sounds like aluminum, but I love the design on it. That's really beautiful. Just all of these like horses. This is so pretty. I love this. Again, I'm not sure, not seeing any kind of maker mark on here, but it's got a really nice kind of designery feel to it. I love it. Very pretty. It's a very pretty um, piece of jewelry. So I think what I'll do with this is I'll just do a reverse Google image search on that, see if I can pull up some kind of similar style. I, I always like as a last step, sometimes even when I'm listing jewelry, I will last minute, I will do a search on the image, a Google image search, because you know, your photos before you're going to go list something, they're always like very crisp and they're very clean, right? You edit them and you edit the lighting or you adjust the lighting or whatever you might be doing to your photos. So I feel like that's always the best time to do those Google image searches. And that's when I get the most accurate results. It doesn't pull up miscellaneous stuff. So as a last step, sometimes with um, items that I can't identify, I do that and I've ended up up identifying quite a bit of jewelry that way i'm talking too much i'm gonna shh, shh, like caesar the dog whisper shh, and i'm just gonna get into the jewelry from now on um this is fabulous this is looking like sulpata uh so we have here just kind of like a leather sulpata necklace i'm looking at this and yep it's got the sulpata dangle on there if you're not familiar with the sulpata logo it looks like a little um arrow Let's focus. So that's it. That's the Sopata logo. I've, I have had jewelry like this in the past where it's kind of like this leather cord and it has a silver sterling silver kind of like bead or centerpiece. And so this is really pretty. And Sopata, again, another one of those brands people are always actively seeking and searching for. So I will just definitely clean this up and um, this will sell. This is great. I love it. Very, very nice. Awesome. Dude, this is like the best box ever. This is the best box ever. 
I love it. Thank you, Goodwill. Thanks for the customer service. Uh, here, okay, okay, here we have what looks like um, possibly a homemade design. And um, let's move some of the stuff over. So we have lots of room to gaze upon the jewelry treasures. And this is looking possibly like a homemade design. And you know, I always look when I'm looking at jewelry, I always look at the way it's finished. And so here you can see at the end of this pendant, there's some exposed wire that could be tucked in or cut or clipped. And I look at, you know, some of the indicators to me to show me how things are manufactured, if it's mass manufactured versus um, what might be homemade. But this is very nice. It's looking like, I don't think this is turquoise. It could be turquoise. I don't think it is. I think it might be aventurine and looking like maybe some dyed coral. This right here, definitely dyed. And then this, not sure. You guys tell me what you think this is. I don't know. It's a weird little composite looking stone. It's got all kinds of stuff going on in there. So yeah, but this is nice. It's a nice color combination. It's very bohemian. I do like turquoise color and coral together. I think they're very fresh and, and nice for spring and summer. And it, this is a very kind of like sizable pendant. So uh, this is a nice piece of jewelry. So good job, whoever made that. You know, jewelry componentry is expensive. If you've ever dabbled in making jewelry, you know that that's the case. So what else do we have here? So I have this, I'm just looking at it real quick, and this is looking like a sterling silver. This to me does look like it is mass manufactured. Again, I'm just like looking at the way it's finished, the knots there and the components, the way it's put together. And this is also looking like coral to me. And so don't know if this is dyed coral I don't think that it is. I will test it. Um, how you can test, you know, turquoise and coral is with acetone. And if you take like a little bit of acetone, you put it on a Q-tip and just go in a very inconspicuous spot. I'll typically maybe go in between some of the beads. And if you rub there a little bit with the acetone and if there's color transfer that comes off, then you know you're dealing with a bow or a dyed. Um, but this is nice. Very, very nice. Sterling silver, really pretty, like I said, really pretty pieces here. Nice little toggle clasp closure. These are very nice and sizable. This is all knotted in between. And so, yeah, this is a great piece of jewelry. So this is fabulous. <laughs> so far, this is excellent. I have zero complaints. Uh, like I said, really nice of them to have offered that to me it's, uh, it's great and there's still uh some more a lot more in here so let's keep going i have this which is looking like a, this like faux pearl costume jewelry necklace and this one has a tag on it this is lauren by ralph lauren there's the l r l logo that um is specific to lauren by ralph lauren lauren ralph lauren is the lower kind of lower tiered brand of ralph lauren named after Dylan Lauren, Dylan Lauren, Ralph Lauren's daughter, right? You have to double check me on that. I think that's who it's named after, Dylan Lauren. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful, really nice. Brand new with the tag, nice and shiny here. Pretty uh, nice, typically sold in something like a Bloomingdale's or like a Macy's, and this is beautiful. Very, very nice, lovely. Nice little piece of Ralph Lauren, Lauren Ralph Lauren jewelry. So that's great. I will put that there. I'm grabbing, there's a brooch in here and this one is looking like Monet. So there's a little Monet brooch. <clears throat> this is looking like newer Monet, not vintage Monet. Uh, Monet was around, uh, I believe until the nineties and it's changed hands several times over as a brand. And towards the later years, I forget who owned it, uh, but this to me definitely looks like a newer Monet piece. So yeah, we just have this Monet brooch, newer Monet brooch, and I'll put that right there. And going back into this bag, and I'm seeing this ring right here, and this is just kind of like a wide cigar band style ring, and it's like very wide, and it says, be true to your dreams, and um, looking like that, and let's see, kind of got like a hand-hammered 
feel to it. And I'm seeing in there the little Sulpata logo once again, if we could look right there, and it actually says Israel right below it. So a lot of Sulpata items are manufactured in Israel. Israel, you know, they do have a really robust kind of a silver smithing artisan trade. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of nice, well-made, heavy pieces do come out of Israel. And so that's just a really beautiful Sulpata sterling silver ring. So that's really nice. Happy with that. And so also in there, we have this, which is looking just like kind of like a glass beaded, almost like lamp work style bead here, black with the pastels and the pink and the green, giving me kind of like definitely like 80s vibes, you know, how it's, it's just got that almost tribal geometric look to it. And this coloration, the pastels, you know, think like the Golden Girls. It's giving me like pseudo 80s Miami vibes, kind of like a golden girl's couch. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I just made this stuff up, you guys. Um, anyway, <laughs> it looks like it could be a handmade item and I'm looking at it here again and you can kind of see that there's a difference in the variation of the lengths. You can see these these beads right here kind of have like aluminum spacers between them, whereas these have smaller little kind of almost bugle beads between them. And so there was definitely some kind of Frankensteining that may have went on here, but I really like it. I think it's a really beautiful necklace. I like the length on it, which is really nice. Um, yeah, overall, I just think it's a good looking necklace. I think it's different. And so that's nice. I'm happy with that. Very, very nice. Let's see what else you've got here. I'm going to go right here pulling this out and this is looking like a, a turquoise and amber chip necklace. This is really pretty. It has these cones at the end, which is something you do typically see with like Native American style jewelry. You can see that right there. Um, and if you come in even closer, I don't know if this is too close, but you can see there's almost like a sun there and it says sterling. I have seen that um, component on, like I said, Native American style jewelry. Need to refocus. So this is really beautiful. Nice big chunky turquoise pendant here. And again, really nice kind of amber chippies interspersed with these turquoise chippies. And I, I do love this finish on it, the, the cone finish. I've actually, in my own bead making and jewelry design stuff, I've purchased these components myself. So I, I just like the way they look. I think they give it a very kind of distinct look to, look to it and feeling. So that's really beautiful as well. Really nice, possibly artisan made, possibly Native American. Um, not sure, the amber incorporation, not something you do typically see a lot with Native American styles, but I like it. I think it's beautiful. I think the um, amber looks really, really nice. You can see it's got like a nice deep, rich, reddish kind of hue to it. That's very, very nice. So yeah, awesome, beautiful stuff. Fantastic stuff so far. I am not disappointed in the least. This is like more than makes up for that box 10 times over, that other box I received. Here I'm having, and I'm messing with it a little bit, so you'll forgive me for making all this noise. They're a little tangly. Um, it, this is a pair of Brighton earrings, new on card, and they're really cute. They've got this little butterfly motif, and it's a uh, says here it's actually got you know this the skew right on it says natalia reversible so this is a pair of brighton natalia reversible earrings so you could probably take the little butterfly component off and i'm sure it's got like some kind of like simpler design on the back let's focus up focus up people too much junk um yeah so that's nice too very very nice beautiful brand new on card brighton earrings you can't really go wrong with that and so pulling out here too, and I just saw this bracelet here, and this is looking like a, a sterling silver tennis bracelet. Really pretty kind of S-bar link design, very traditional tennis bar, uh, tennis bracelet style with the S-bars in between the stones. It is marked 925. I suspect, you know, that these are cubic zirconia, but they're very pretty. They're very shiny. And you can see it has the double bar uh, the double safety latches on there. So really pretty in excellent condition, almost looks brand new. Sterling silver S-bar tennis bracelet with double safety clasps closures there. So that's beautiful as well. So this box is, is amazing, you guys. This is really, I mean, these guys, this is spoil, y'all. <laughs> They're spoiling me. And I bought, I feel like I've bought so much good, Goodwill stuff that I'm okay with it. I love it. 
<laughs> um, okay, so there's a little baggie here, and in the baggie was is a little um, cameo brooch and earring set, and these guys are looking like 1928 brand, 1928 brand, uh, US-based jewelry brand. I think they're based out of San Francisco, California, and they make kind of um, revival jewelry of styles that are typical of Victorian era. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, so like lavalier style jewelry, you know, brooch cameo style jewelry. And so this is really beautiful because it's got the, um, it's a full set here, the brooch and the earrings, which is really, really lovely. And so that looks great. And it looks to be in fantastic condition. And so this, uh, you know, this is obviously resin. This is not real cameo. And one little tip to tell you, you know, with Cameo, when you're like looking for real Cameo, Cameo is cold. It's cold to the touch. So I think an easy way sometimes to feel whether it, the Cameo is real shell is to kind of like hold it to your cheek. And if it feels cool, um, that, and then you'll know it's likely real Cameo uh, shell. But also it's usually set in a way where it's showcasing the transparency and the beautiful intricacies of the design. So it'll be set in something that also lets the light through. So typically real cameo will have an open back design. So those are a couple of tips. Uh, another tip is this, this girl, she is known in the industry. Her name is Ponytail Girl. So Ponytail Girl, if you see her, the likelihood of it being uh, resin as opposed to real cameo she's been used for years this mold was used across multiple manufacturers Avon used her you see her here in 1928 so a lot of costume jewelry brands reuse ponytail girl so again if you see her this is what she looks like get acquainted hello she's cute it's an interesting hairstyle if you see her be, be alert and know that that's probably resin and not genuine cameo all right Gosh, there's so many items in here, and it's like never ending, and I don't want it to end, so I'm totally okay with this. A uh, little baggie here with a couple of items in there. Let's see what we got. See a chunky pair of gold toned earrings. These are Gay Boyer. So, 80s kind of designer, statement y, almost like shrimp looking design. Clip earrings, gold tone, looking good, looking in great condition from Gay Boyer. Those are very, very nice. Nicely made. So we have a pair of those. Big statementy earrings. We have another pair of clip earrings in here. I'm seeing these are looking like Trafari, yes. I have many styles very similar to this from Trafari. This is Crown Trafari. Crown Trafari, when you look at the logo, it's a great way to date Trafari jewelry um, and determine what year it's from by looking at the logo. <clears throat> the one with the crown, I believe, is 1955 to 1969. So know that when you're seeing this type of jewelry, that's the, the uh, date range that you're looking at. And also that it's a likelihood that it is not Alfred Philippe. Alfred Philippe, a high profile Trafari designer, pieces are highly sought after. He designed before that period, so prior to 1955. So a couple of tips there on dating Trafari jewelry. This is beautiful. It's got the brush gold. It has the satin gold finish. It has the small pearls. Very, very pretty. Clip, clip style earring. These are really nice. They're in very good condition. They look uh, relatively clean. I'll probably have clean the back up a little bit too, but those are perfect and beautiful. Uh, nice that there's no uh, pearls missing. Very typically with those Trafari pieces, the pearls will be missing. They'll fall out. Not sure why that is. Probably the glue that they used. It's funny. You know, I was actually, I have a, a research book about Trafari. I bought a reference book and it was talking about uh, the, the pearl... I'm lying. I'm thinking of Miriam Haskell. Never mind. <laughs> Getting my uh, reference books confused. I don't want to give you misinformation, but I caught myself. Today's beverage choice is coffee. This is a coffee mug my husband made me, and it, I, he jokes because I say always be listing, so he put that on there. It's my, my little acronym, and then he put my logo on there. Really cute. He gave it to me Christmas. Um... <laughs> Uh, this here right here is really beautiful. This was in that little baggie as well. And this is just a little sterling silver piece. Really beautiful. Got a nice little center component right there and dangles. And so again, I think I'll, I'll probably clean this up just a little bit. It's really pretty. It's very dainty and it looks like that. That's a really beautiful piece of sterling silver jewelry. I love it. 
very, very nice. It feels good. I like the snake chain on it. It gives it that slinky kind of feel, that slinky 70s feel. I like it a lot. And then last, there's a little ring in this baggie. And this is looking like to me, Stuart Nye. So I don't know if you're familiar with Stuart Nye. I've bought and sold quite a bit of his jewelry. Uh, designer out of, based out of Asheville, North Carolina, and has been in business, I think, since the 1930s. Very well known for this blossom, this dogwood blossom. So if you come across something that looks like this, there's a likelihood that it's Stuart Nye. Let's see on the back. If it has, it says, it's smart sterling silver and it says NYE for Nye, which is the last name. Uh, so American artisan, been around now, like I said, I believe since the 1930s. Signature flower designs like this, the dogwood, the most well-known of his pieces. We're getting some weird lighting on here, in here, so I apologize. Sun's doing something funky. Um, most well known for this and also did some designs in copper when World War II rolled around. So you could also possibly find these designs in copper. So that's really lovely. I do love me some Stuart Nye jewelry. I just think it's beautiful. Um, very organic looking. Very, very nice. Awesome. So fabulous. This is like the most fabulous bag ever. And it's still going, folks. Um, I have in here, there is this uh, gold... Sunstone or Goldstone? I don't know why I want to call it Goldstone, right? Goldstone. Uh, Goldstone, man-made stone, actually made out of glass, and the incorporation of copper as an element into the glass-making technique. Uh, this was invented by the Venetians, this technique. So uh, origins that come out of Italy in the beginning, where all the great glass-blowing jewelry techniques came from. Now the majority of this jewelry comes from India. So this is just a really pretty, and I think it's pretty. I love it. It's just so sparkly. And they do make this too in blue. So you'll sometimes find like a navy blue version of this. I love it. So this is really cute, and, and it's pretty. I just like the beads, nice size beads. And then the cross component there is pretty as well. And so we have that really pretty there. And okay, we're getting to the, we're getting to the end here. There is this stone, but we're running out of room. This stone necklace here, I'm gonna have to push everything over to accommodate. So many goodies. So many goodies. Put this here, put this here, put this here. This is looking like a red jasper necklace uh, with a big component here, really lovely, and a sterling silver. Feels super, super heavy really nice and this i am recognizing this component and this is looking to me like desert rose trading j king i recognize it he has a signature hook that he uses which is this big wide kind of fisherman looking hook here and also has a signature in that he puts these little heart dangles on the jewelry and so let's let me look real quick close yes so it will say on the hook d let me check with my loop DRT, which is Desert Rose Trading. Yep, and it does. So DRT925. So this is J. King, Mine Finds, Desert Rose Trading. Desert Rose Trading was, um, and J. King. J. King was a host on the Home Shopping Club, on the Home Shopping Club network back in the day. And he did a lot of jewelry shows and branched off. And I feel like a lot of the hosts do this sometimes. They branch off and they create their own line because once they find out who the producers are, the manufacturers, they partner with the manufacturer and then they slap their name on it. And then they sell it back to the Home Shopping Club network. Um, someone else who did this was Carol Brody, which is, her brand is uh, uh, Rare Finds, I think, by Carol Brody. Carol Brody used to work for Harry Winston in New York City. She's got her own line. So this is nice. Uh, this is fantastic. High price point on these items. You would typically sell something like this, maybe like $165 originally. Like I said, very well made and just known for its natural stone elements. Every piece of Desert Rose Trading Jewelry is always a beautiful quality that I've come across. It sells very well. There's an active base of people who are looking for this jewelry, myself included. I purchased some Desert Rose Trading jewelry as well. I just like it, like I said, and it's beautifully made and I, I like natural stone jewelry. So this is amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it and this is phenomenal. I'm beyond thrilled, beyond. 
And here we have um, a set of stick pins, and this is again looking like Stuart Nye. So uh, Goodwill of Southern Piedmont, I think is in North Carolina. Uh, so this would make sense that we see some jewelry that's coming from some artisans from that area. So this is really pretty. So we have like a little Scottish thistle. This is so pretty. I, and it's I love that it's on the card. A little Scottish thistle. And then we have the signature little ooh, dogwood blossom again. And then there's just a little feather. These are really cute. This is, it says, this bloom in, on the stick pin is sterling silver. The stem and tip are nickel. Sterling would be too soft for this. And it's got the trademark on the back, the Stuart Nye trademark. That's so cool. I've never seen the original packaging on the Stuart Nye. I always just get the jewelry. So that's really, really cool. I love that. Nice, more Stuart Nye. That's so exciting. Love that. American artisans. So nice that we have some of our American artisans still around. Um, we got to support them. I wish I went to their shop when I was in Asheville. I didn't know at the time. Let's see. I like Asheville. It's a fun little town. Um, okay, so we're coming down to a wire here. And, and this was in here too. And this is a gold tone kind of, I don't know, macaroni link. What would we call this? Just gold tone heavy. And this also has a safety clasp on it. And I'm looking and this says, this also says 925. This is a big honker, big chunky monkey. It says Brev 925. Uh, it has Italian maker's marks on it. It's got it's Italian assay marks. Like this Altrudi, Altrudi. It's definitely Italian. Okay. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful, gold tone, big, heavy, sterling silver, gold overlay, uh, ch super chunky, sterling silver, Italian. Really, really nice. I bet you this weighs quite a bit. So super happy with that. Everything has been fabulous. And so there's only three items left, you guys. I have this little brooch right here. And this is KNT. I am not familiar with that brand, but it just looks like um, a costume jewelry brand right there. So we have that little brooch. Let's put this guy right there. And then I have one of these guys. I have bought and sold these previously. They're usually like English porcelain. And this one says... Staffordshire, I, uh, Staffordshire, England, Staffordshire, England. Hold on, let me look real quick because I've seen a logo. And they're usually by different brands. Looks like a, I can't really, can't really make it out, but I am seeing that there's like a little bit of damage here and there to some of these leaves, which is pretty typical. These guys are very delicate and they rarely kind of, last the thrift store survive intact but you know they're always very pretty so we have that guy as well I'll put that right there and then finally there's this little pendant here which is like a really nice kind of carved mother of pearl shell and that guy's looking like that that's very nice I don't think that that is sterling silver let me see it's not magnetic, um, but I don't think it looks like sterling silver, but I'll definitely test it just in case. And so that's everything, you guys. I think, you know, this was an amazing box. And, you know, this location from Shop Goodwill, which was Southern Piedmont, um, I told you like I had done a previous unboxing. It was $49.99 and I wasn't exactly super happy with the content. So they reached out to me and they offered to send me another box, which was amazing customer service from Goodwill. And this box is like really beyond, I, I mean, more than makes up for uh, the other one and just fabulous items in here. Lots of Stuart Nye, two Silpata items, uh, just really nice kind of like artisan jewelry. The the Desert Roast trading piece, this big, huge, chunky sterling silver kind of um, Italian-made necklace, the sterling silver S-bar tennis bracelet, even the Nine West ring, uh, Nine West watch is really, really great. Um, I love it. I think it's a fabulous box. I have nothing to complain about. Great customer service from Goodwill. It was awesome. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about them kind of reaching out and offering to replace the box and whatnot. Give me a like on the way, subscribe if you haven't already, and also 
you know, if you're interested in any of this jewelry, I'll probably be listing a lot of it overnight over on my eBay store. My shop name there is also Nola Collectibles. And yeah, everything I, I tend to do mostly like buy it nows or best offer. So, you know, if you're ever interested, uh, you can either shoot me an email, Nola Collectibles at Yahoo, or you can go check out my eBay. Hopefully I'll be very disciplined and I'll get this stuff up onto my store. So yeah, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.